<laughs> All right, cool. I'm going to show you a couple of things. Right, There's sweet. a couple of tricks that I I usually go through, mm. or, you know, not, like, just so you have an understanding of like, my thought process when I'm fighting. Mm. Um, one of the main things that a lot of people kind of go on me about is my hands not being up. So I'm going to take you through some of the reasons why I don't have my hands up. I'm not going to say put your hands down. Yeah. But I'm going to show you some of the footwork that allows me to not have my, my hands up and to keep me in the correct safe distance so I'm avoiding punches and so on and so forth like that. Um, but then just loads of other tricks. I like to really enjoy it. I like to... There's the basics mm. of anything. Boxing, kickboxing. For me, obviously, the mixed martial arts side, there's the basics. And then... There's whatever you can make of the basics. You can flip it and turn it, spin it. It's up to you after that. Mm. So, show you a couple of shots. Show me your jab. Okay. There you go. Mm -hmm. What I want you to do is when you land that jab, just step your front foot in at exactly the same time with the jab. Well, just... So, but as you go, boom. Okay, forward, cool. Actually, gain ground. There you go. Then get back out as well. The same again. Then get back out. There you go. One more time. So, jab is something that is so underrated. Yeah, so underrated. yeah. A lot of the times, people they just headhunt, they see, yeah, they see yeah. a target, and they just want to just <laughs> kill. Yeah, and a lot of times you're burning a lot of energy because you miss more times than you actually land, mm. killing your energy. So it's all about measuring distance, and this is a one a perfect way of measuring distance: sticking your foot in and coming back out. It's like you're testing the waters. Yeah. Yeah. Seeing what I respond with. Mm. Yeah. So you're gonna get jab, we run, hands up, go. There you go. Good. This time, I want you to. Stab your front foot in, mm -hmm. and instead of moving back out, you're gonna throw your front foot in, and then your back leg's gonna step out. Just your back leg. Your okay. Front. Once you position your front foot, don't move it again. Okay. Your back. So. Yes, and then they're gonna throw this. There you go. Behind. Okay. Good. Now just speed that second one up. The second you go, boom, boom, boom. Okay. Throw it. As soon as you land that back leg, bam, fire your backhand. Got it. Oh, there you go. This is something very basic, but a lot of people fall for it because, again, I'm close. Yeah. The second you get hit, what's your instant reaction? Punch back. You want to punch back. Because nine times, I always go by the, like, the nine time out of 10 rule. Nine times out of 10, the majority of people, as soon as they get hit, they're, they're like, throw. Bro. Yeah. So that jab makes you want to throw, you miss, and you catch them there. And that foot puts you in position. That back leg takes you out instead of going all the way out. Yeah. And I've got to gain that ground again. Yeah. Yeah. So a couple more times, and we'll do something else. There it is. Turn that knuckle right over. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. That's nice. See the difference in that yeah. last shot. throw your backhand mm -hmm. and again some people throw everything they throw is to hit and if you're a technical boxer yeah it's not the case sometimes i throw to position you mm. yeah so i purposely if your hands up if i do this nine times out of ten that happens yeah yeah and because i know that that's why i go work at that nine times out of ten rule <gasps> go down the middle yeah because i know you're going to respond okay so i threw this not to hit you to make your hand respond so I can go there. Yeah. So there's different ways to do it, but most people will go, I want to hit you, I yeah, want to hit you, I want yeah, to hit you. Yeah. And it becomes more predictable to, to defend. Mm. Yeah? So you're going to do, fake the jab, go along. Cool. Fake the jab up, boom, hand the shot. Cool. Body. So fake one, two. But when you do it, one, mm -hmm. two. So okay. move twice to get Okay. In. Yeah, so go. So. Fake, boom, hit, hand it. Okay. Go. Boom. Yes. Again. Good. Try not to drift as you jab. Okay. So you're going and do that again. Do it with a drift. Okay. Drift. You're going. Which way are you going? No, straight into your right hand. Yeah. Yeah. It's one. Boom, boom. Okay. Oh, there it is. Yeah, that's better. Get back up. There you go. Up down. Oh, hey, nice. Cool. Nice, 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 nice. Nice. <laughs> Jeez, yeah. that picks up well. Yeah. You're still kind of 
good left hook, so yeah. just arm. Yeah. Boom, body. Yeah. Ooh, that's the one. <laughs> that's the hook. Okay. Just <laughs> Yeah, turn it over. Cool. Put it really. Boom. Yeah. Swing it round and come back. Okay. Oh, Jeez. <laughs> 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 Go. Oh, Faster. Okay. That's the one. Jeez. Up, down, let's go. Oh, God, God. Cool. And again. Move me. Move me. Oh, that's better. That's better. And again. And again. Move me. Relax. Oh, okay. Jeez. So we went through some of the basics. But obviously, you've got to start on your own. And I want to, mm. I want to see that. So we're going to jump in the bag. Okay. We're just going to go. Well, that sounds good. I like that. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's go again, again. Nice. Nice. Don't get too close, don't get too close, don't get too close. Stay long. Good reach, always use your reach. Okay. Use your asset. Good, good. Good. What about rotation? Rotation. Don't just use your arm. Don't punch your arm. Punch with your body. There it is. Punch with your whole body. Even that cross. Boom! Punch your body. That's the snooze button right there. <laughs> Jeez! <laughs> Snoring. Don't stop work. Stand in front of him and roll. Stand in front of him and roll. Let's go. Go. Work. 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 <laughs> Finished. <laughs> so. Finished it. Cut. JJ, tell me about your session. Yeah, it was tough, but uh, it's been a pleasure to be training with MVP, of course. Has he taught you anything new? Yeah, he's taught me a few tricks of the trade. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to say here. I don't want Logan to find out my tactics. And off the back of that, you know, what are your predictions for the 25th? Uh, 25th, obviously it's going to be a victory on my end, and uh, I'm going to make it look easy. Right, last question. What's the first thing you're going to do after the fight? First thing I'm going to do, probably celebrate with my friends and family, and drink a lot. <laughs> okay, man. Well, we best let you get on your way and go and recover. Good luck. Thank you very much. See you in a bit.